A communications plan helps agents deliver value to clients. Communication is not only the lifeline in any relationship, it's what separates the average from the exceptional property manager. Delivering an outstanding client experience is as important as all the marketing you will do to lease out the client's property. As professionals in a service industry, we must strive to create a rewarding client experience as well as achieve the desired end results. Both are important. A simple way to help create happy clients is to have a written communications plan. By having an actual plan, your clients will know what your expectations are and you will know exactly what your clients expect of you. This will prevent things from being left to chance. The perfect time to give this to clients is what I call the romance period. The time when your client has chosen to hire you as their agent and everyone is enthusiastic and optimistic. We will now look at six simple steps to creating a written communications plan. Step one, ask the client what communication methods they want or prefer, such as phone, email, text, or even social media. Knowing your client's preferred communication method will allow you to engage with them on their terms, making them feel that you care, which will cause them to be more receptive. For most clients, hearing your voice regularly can be reassuring and often allows for easy dialogue. Step two, establish communication frequency. For example, weekly, bi-monthly, monthly, or when you have an offer for them, or if there are repairs or maintenance requests or feedback from periodic inspections, knowing how often your clients want to hear from you allows you to meet their communication expectations and personal preferences. Zero communication should never be an option. Step three, what information would they like to receive? For example, market updates, number of showings, or individual showing feedback. Show your clients what types of information you would normally provide. Knowing what your clients want to know about will set the tone and the content of the communications and allow you to provide your clients with insights that are important to them throughout the process. Step four, establish an understanding of how you work. So give them the general information of what hours does your business operate? What days do you work? What is your after hours policy? What should your client do if he or she has an emergency and needs to contact you? In the world where we are operating 24-7, 365 days of the year, setting boundaries up front that both you and your clients agree to can avoid future friction. Step five, establish timing and set it on your calendar to set reminders. Once you understand what your client wants, you can schedule a time block where you will reach out to them. For example, if they prefer quarterly communications, which some landlords do, you can let them know that every Wednesday between 5 and 7 p.m. on a quarterly basis, you will reach out to them. This will allow you to operate your business as a business and on your time you will start to operate from a proactive as opposed to a reactive state. Last but not least is to document and confirm the information. Make sure to put all of this in writing and provide a copy to your clients. A dated email communication suffices. This sets expectations moving forward and if something is not met later, there is a written agreement to refer back to. Something you very rarely hear is, my agent over communicated with me. There are many benefits to having an actual plan. It will be a competitive advantage when meeting with potential sellers and landlords and a way to separate yourself from other agents. It will make your clients happy knowing that they know what is going on with their most valuable asset. There are a number of benefits in having a communication plan. Firstly, you're less likely to have a disgruntled client which results from a lack of communication and is one of the top gripes that clients have with real estate agents. So you'll experience less conflict. 
Secondly, if you are providing your client with regular updates and feedback, your client is much more likely to act on your recommendations. For example, if the feedback about price is unfavorable, as a result of your communication, the client is likely to understand your price reduction recommendations and move forward on that recommendation by having a communication plan, you also have the opportunity to ask for referrals throughout the transaction. A well-informed client will be more likely to share their great experience with family and friends. Demonstrating real value consistently may inspire your client to refer business without you even asking them to do so. By being professional, establishing a clear communication plan and setting standards and expectations, you will undoubtedly separate yourself from the average agent by delivering real value to your client.